Hey, good people. Happy Manic Minute Monday. My name is Michael Herman. I look up art so you can procrastinate better. And this week we're talking about Mexican temples, the Trojan horse, and Irish people. Ready or not, here we go. First up is the sneaky underwater church called the Temple of Santiago. Although it was submerged hundreds of years ago, this temple has resubmerged because of the drought problem in Mexico. And it looks darn good for having bathed for hundreds and hundreds of years. So the takeaway here is droughts are good Sometimes. I wonder what we'll find in California. Maybe Elvis. Up next is a Spanish artist named Manolo Garcia who recreates Renaissance era sculptures and paintings into massive wooden structures. We're talking really massive, like 10 foot tall heads. And they're all made out of bent wood. But it gets crazier. His latest creation was made to be set on fire. They burnt the whole thing at a Burning Man event. Next up is a Netherlands-based printmaker named Jaco Putker. His photopolymer etchings are chilling. It's hard to pinpoint what exact emotion you're supposed to feel when looking at these. Amused and terrified, maybe? It's definitely one of those double-colored spheres from the movie Inside Out. And finally, caution, we have a tearjerker here. The artist Glenn Hansard wrote a song called Bird of Sorrow and I cannot get through it without crying. This song is so beautiful and broken and tender. I think it's heartbreaking mostly because he's Irish, but also because I'm a hopeless romantic and Irish. <laughs> We made it. Thanks for stopping by, guys. I really do appreciate that. If you want to, check out the like and subscribe buttons down below. I should have gone to flight school. I could be one of these people. And thanks for stopping by. I'll see you next week on Monday. Now go inspire your souls.